What's up guys, it's time to talk about the next big thing from Google, the Pixel 4. Google is about to bring some big changes that might change the way you use your phone. But first up, we're gonna see some live images that confirm the design of the Pixel 4, a really small chain, combined with a forehead. Much better than Pixel 3 XL's notch. It's definitely not gonna challenge the design of the Note 10 or the Huawei Mate 30 Pro, but it is surely better than what they did with the Pixel 3 XL. Here is the overall design of the Pixel 4. Uh, towards the back, we know the camera is similar to the iPhone 11 and Huawei Mate 20 Pro when it comes to looks. It's a squarish dual camera sensor with 12 megapixel main resolution along with a 16 megapixel telephoto lens. Just recently, Google confirmed the full front design of the Pixel 4 showing off the big forehead that includes a speaker along with face unlock and motion sensors. Pixel 4 might not have in-display fingerprint scanners so Google is looking to implement something like Apple's Face ID so it's gonna be scary enough to verify the lock and unlock as well as the digital payments. Along with all of this it's gonna have something really different which I didn't expect from Google and that is the implementation of Project Solly. It's a new radar chip that will allow you to control your phone without touching the display. So with the help of motion movements of your hand, you can perform various functions. It will let you skip the songs, snooze alarms, and silence phone calls by just waving your hand in front of the phone. This technology was developed internally by Google's advanced tech and projects team, and it is said to be super accurate. If it's implemented properly on Pixel 4, it could actually change the whole game and change the way you interact with your phone. It was further confirmed by XDA that it is is indeed coming via code of Android Q, a feature called Aware was found that has something to do with Project Solly and you know waking the phone up with just a wave motion. Again, we'll see more on this. But the thing that I'm most excited about is the camera. Google is Still the king of smartphone photos overall in pretty much all conditions when it comes to photos for front and back camera, Pixel 3 is it. I really like the Pixel 3 camera. It legit beats some of the pointed shoots out there and now Google is looking to step things up. Now what's super exciting is the DSLR-like software feature that Google has reportedly built. Google's camera game is all about software. Previously it was expected that Google will add some kind of lens support. This has been corrected and updated with the new news which says that Pixel 4 will have DSR-like software features. With the added 16 megapixel telephoto lens, Google could be using that for the portrait images. This also means some additional pro camera features as well, something you don't have on the current Pixel device. So you should be able to control things like ISO, aperture, and stuff like that. All in all, it's looking really exciting. This might actually be a game changer thing that will make this phone's camera invincible. Under the hood, we can expect to see Snapdragon 855 Plus chip along with six gigs of RAM. The display will be really high end, but what's even exciting about that is 90 hertz refresh rate. According to this big leak, Google has done what Samsung couldn't. Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL are said to have 90 hertz of refresh rate, which is something I absolutely love and it might be called as smooth display officially. Along with all this good stuff, Google will bring some exclusive Google Assistant features with Pixel 4 family. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. The next big thing from Google is looking exciting. Anyone who is super serious about smartphone camera game, you should honestly wait for the Pixel 4 and the Mate 30, which is said to have dual 40 megapixel lenses. So I'm really excited for these two phones when it comes to camera. Drop a comment and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.